Just what secrets does this abandoned school hide? At one point, guys, kids would walk around and go to school and go into these little classrooms. So it's extremely fascinating to see what this looks like after that fire happened. Whoa. It smells way different over here, dude. It smells chemically. You know what that smell is, right? What? That's mold. I was so excited to shoot a video that I forgot my masks at home, so definitely don't do anything like this without a mask. That's mold smell. We better uh, be careful. Whoa, look at the holes, bro. That sounds like pretty spooky. You can see all the dust particles flying around. Yeah. I wonder where the cafeteria is at. That'd be a really big room. Yeah, let's go find the cafeteria. Right now, you can smell the mold. You can smell all the junk that's in the air, and it is extremely dangerous. So we're gonna try to be fast with this. Let's go. The gymnasium. Really? No. You can see across the hall. It's very big in there. Holy cow, dude. Look at this. Looks like they also use that as an auditorium because there's um, like that, uh, the curtain, big curtain for the auditorium. Wait, what? Yeah, the big curtain right there? Yeah. Uh, they probably use that as like the auditorium. So like a stage over there, I think. Probably, dude. Oh, let's go see. We decided to explore a little more and see what else we could uncover. I mean, this was just one big room, so there wasn't a whole lot of stuff to look at. We're gonna try to find the cafeteria and see if maybe we can get something. How does that look right now, D? Looks fine. And yeah, it didn't really look that fine. Looks fine, okay. Okay, we're exploring around. Let's see what else this place has, because this, this is crazy. Can I say I'm wooding you? I'm... I would think that they meant to say watching, but like, they ran out of a lot of space, I guess. Let's go see the art supply room. Oh, is this a bloody Mary bomb in the bathroom? Bathroom? I think so, because they wrote Bloody Mary on the wall. Oh, yikes. Yo, dang, that's like horror movie type of stuff. Look at that. That's like you see that in video games. I didn't think it actually looked like that. Look at the rose petals, and what is that all over the place? Is that blood? No. No. There's no way. They just painted the stuff for it. What is, is that rose petals? What the hell is that? Interesting. something. You think maybe they tried to restore this place and just gave up? No. It costs way too much to restore this place. That's right. Whoa. This is the science room. This is the lab because I got the eye wash station. And a door on the other side. Let's go check it out. We're continuing on our journey and we're going to explore the science room here. This is where they have all kinds of junk. I'm very curious what's in here. Oh, chemicals. Whoa. An old VHS tape. Matter and energy, what is it? That's sick. That's pretty sick. Bro, they got like all this underground plumbing. The science books. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, I wish I had chalk. I'd put subscribe to Boozy Bros. Hilarious. If you guys think about it, like a long time ago, there was a bunch of kids doing a bunch of little experiments with all the stuff in here. And it's such a shame to see it all get burned down and destroyed, but it's really cool to come back and check it out. Too. We got the, the Siggy room. No kids be doing a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Bus suite, uh, galvanometer. What is that? I think it is radiation. That's pretty badass, actually. Oh, look at all these. There's tons of tape. Wow. Let's see, physical demonstration and mechanics. Look at how all these VHSs survived. Yeah, the VHSs totally survived, bro. 
Oh, dude, this place is gargantuan. Seriously. And why did they prop this open, I wonder? Good question. Maybe because that door locks automatically or something. Maybe. An angle there. This place is beautiful, dude. Yeah, it would be cooler if it was like a larger school. Like, can you imagine like Ulaga schools? Oh, bro, yeah. Like that huge school right now. For more than one reason. Hey, check it out. They got a people writing stuff a little bit. Wonder if that has any significance. Uh, in loving memory. Damn. I wonder what happened. Did somebody die in the fire? This room is interesting because look, the f the spider webs are blackened, as though what did this catch fire recently? Like, what the fudge? This must have been like the principal's room, like the cardinal up there. Yeah. This had to be in the principal's room, where he was money laundering for the cartel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine if that was the story. Look at this. Check this out. Look at the progress report. That's all burned. You can see the lines of where the fire was from the smoke. That's wild. I don't know why, but this like makes you want to play a zombie video game. I don't know why. Using my paranormal investigator equipment, I decided to perform a series of experiments to see, is this school haunted or not? I was unable to get any activity here in this classroom. Um, my spirit box is dead, despite having new batteries. So that's really, that's great. But I got this thing, so I'm gonna walk around and see if maybe we can get some EMF readings while we're walking around. We're roaming around the gym. Look at this, dude. Look at this, dude. Look at this chair. Like, it's all, it's like one piece of wood. This main dude chair that's really sick. They don't make them like they used to. They really don't. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm walking around and I'm not really noticing anything paranormal here. I don't really feel like anything slightly paranormal here. Okay guys, I'll be honest with you, I've been walking around for a minute now and I'm unable to get any EMF detections out of this whole place, so I don't believe that this place is really haunted. So that's some good data for us to get because I've been in a lot of places where people claim that ghosts come in and out of abandoned places. Some people believe that empty, empty places like this are a haven for ghosts to just chill out and not be interfered with. but. I am not finding really evidence of that, so. Okay guys, now we're in the Ag Center where they had Ag class and everything. It's so cool, but let's explore a little bit more and see what this place has. This place is huge. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Maybe that's a chicken coop up there. You think it's a chicken? No, there's no way it's a chicken coop. Hey. Do you want me to go up there? Let's do that. Yeah, you take the camera up there. Wow, bro, look at this. Up inside there, there's a whole attic of stuff. Whole storage area. Hold your breath. I found the 10 millimeter, guys. I freaking found it. it look. They drew mm -hmm. all the tools where the tools are supposed to go. <laughs> There's a security <laughs> system here, but that didn't work. Oh no. There's little safe boxes over there, what is it? Those are lockers. Oh. Those are all lockers. That's cool. They outlined all the tools. <laughs> yeah, that could <laughs> they're be supposed good. to go. That'll probably stall them all. Alright guys, we're gonna stop our investigation for now, but shit. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop the investigation for now, but we have all kinds of more exciting episodes up and coming for you guys lined up. As for this place, honestly, it doesn't really seem to be haunted. I am not getting any EMFs, I'm not getting any creepy feelings or any indication that this place is even haunted at all. So, we're gonna conclude it there and dub this place as not really haunted, but it's extremely fascinating at least. So, thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to see some cool stuff here because I quite enjoyed it. I hope you did too. I'll see you guys around. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.